so excited to announce I've made not one, not two, but three new additions to my family over the past few days. The first edition was a cot. And I thought, mm, let's just put this on Facebook and see what people think I'm going to use it for. And I've got many, many, many suggestions. So there's the picture of the cot. I'll post it up there. And some of the comments were puppies, kittens. Are you pregnant? Don't think so. Chickens, kittens, twins, which were all incorrect. I was actually using it to put, actually, I'll show you that later. It's a secret. So today there was a delivery and I've just come back from the hospital. Oh, I'm in post office. Sorry, post office. <laughs> um, it is about 4.4 kilos. So I think that's probably a healthy baby. I don't know. Or maybe it's too big. I don't know. Don't think. Mm, anyway, I don't want to think about that. But I got these. Two of them from Kickass. So it's a 10 meter extension lead. So that's one. And it looks exactly the same ish. And that's the second one. So, guess what this means? This means that I did not have to put my $2,000 power station in the toilet. So I can place my panels, my solar panels, in the best possible position to charge them. It means I can have my power station in my room and I can be looking at the numbers going up as I'm working or whatever. Um, and it's so exciting. It also means that I don't have to lift a $2,000 power station outside and inside every day. What I'm about to show you is how I solved a problem. Another problem. <laughs> there are so many. It just does not stop. One of the solving problems was obviously these amazing kick-ass leads. The second thing is what I did with the cot. Now I've been having issues with my solar panels because I have to move them around with the sun every day because this is my only source of power. I have no other sources of power. And they have been falling over in the wind. They have been falling in the dirt. They have had dirt all over them. My hands look like I'm a gardener, which I'm clearly not. Um, but I solved the problem and I'm about to show you. Check this out. Okay, so this is the back stairs. This is where I have to walk. So it's a little bit, um, precarious for someone as that uncoordinated as I am hey fee those who have been watching my videos would know see the toilet the outback toilet the outback dunny this is where the um, power station is now I put this across this board so that it doesn't um, get into full sun um, charging up not very much at the second because um there are some clouds in the sky um but check this out and this is what has happened to the baby crib so yeah no puppies no kittens no babies no chickens nothing but these i fixed on with some uh rope and I just bring it inside just like this every night and like moving it around because I need to move it around to face the sun about four times a day and be assured it is facing the sun currently but it's just gone behind a cloud so we're in the optimum position here um so I'm going to stand it up for you and show you what it looks like even though lying it down seems to work better so yeah that's um all my <laughs> professional looking handiwork at the back and that's holding it all together oh we have some sunshine so that's good to show that i was actually pointing it in the right direction but yeah that's the front um and yeah i just literally just fold it up like i i had it a second ago and bring it inside and there's no sort of unfolding and standing up and turning around to the sun and making sure it's all standing right and I'm not worried about it falling down 
And now I can also not worry about having to take my my power station out to the Outback Dunny. Okay, so the new kick-ass lead is now connected to my solar panels and it's currently bringing in that amount. And uh, yes, a cloud has just gone over the sun, so that's why it's gone all funny or a bird has crapped on my solar panels. Something has happened. But um, I'm just so happy that I can sit here and work and I can watch the solar, the watts coming in and, and everything. I'm thrilled. And the quality of these cords is amazing. I'm going to just walk you out there. Absolutely amazing. Um, look at this. Really, really good, thick quality. So I really, really want to draw your attention to these connections here and here because I've got two of them connected. Now these are so solid, everything inside them is safe. Everything in, you're not going to see any wires, you're not going to see anything at all twist up or go wrong or whatever. The reason I say that, this is my original one that came with the solar panels and they've all done this. So see these wires? Now that's the same sort of wire you'd have in here but you're not going to see it because it's so well made. So for the purpose of this demonstration I have twisted the wires around a bit and that's what tends to happen with these. These plastic things, although they do sit inside here if you push them up, they do come loose and things get twisted up and there's wire that you can see here which is probably not a good idea to be using um but yeah with these you're not going to see anything because both sides is all sealed in so perfectly if for some reason you've never used an anderson star plug it's really simple see the plus the minus they just clip together. It's super, super, super easy. It's not hard at all. And just to show you the size compared to the ones I had now to this. Um, I mean, look, they're both pretty sturdy as far as the, the this cord bit. But this is super, super, super. Uh, I know in the video Craig says you could run over in them with the mower, but I don't suggest you do that. Don't have a mower, but... <laughs> Um, I get what he was saying. This is really tough, like for grease and oil and all sorts of crap to fall on it. Um, so yeah, it, it's just a really well-made product, and I'm really, really thrilled to have got this. And just so you know what I'm working with, I've got 200 watt iTech World solar blankets. The most they've bought in is about 65 watts each out of that 100. So I'm looking for sort of something that can hopefully bring in some more uh, and that's in optimal conditions it's usually much less and as you can see the sun has been covered up again so there's no <laughs> no uh, sun shining on these panels well, a little bit probably but if I looked at the what was coming in inside on that readout it would probably be not much so these ones I've got connected here with a, I don't know what you call it. It's not in parallel, it's something else. But I've got the two connected to the one thing. So that's why I could possibly be getting 200 watts. Okay, hello Fee. Hello Fifi, how are you? Good day, good day, good day. <coughs> well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your visit with the new babies, the new arrivals, the big announcement. And maybe next time I will get some puppies, chickens, kittens. I'm not sure. But at the moment, it's just trying to get enough solar panels and power stations to actually be able to do all the things I want to do. Which, at the moment, it's not currently happening. But it will. It will. It will. It's just based on finances. That's it. I know what I want. I know what I need. But just have to wait until... um finances permit so 
I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, the cot cost $15, by the way, and the kick-ass leads were on special. Oh, I can't remember, $52 or something? Usually $79. I did look at iTech World first, but they were out of stock. So I went looking on the internet, and kick -ass, whose videos I've been watching for ages, I was like, let's see what kick -ass have, and they had them on special. I went, yes. Um, so that's my first kick ass purchase and I have my own a couple of other things too from there. So let's see what happens next.